This is um, my stand in which I film. And the two shoe boxes wasn't quite working out, so I inserted my biology book in there. So I'm back. And welcome back to an episode of Kim Does. I know it's been a really long time since we last saw each other, maybe like two months, but I'm on fall break and somehow I decided on fall break I was gonna make a cooking show. So whatever. If you're new or not one of my like 12 subscribers, then this is a show where I cook or attempt to cook things on Pinterest. And I'm excited for the 20 plus people who will probably view this video and maybe this is the video that finally takes off and I become a star and I can drop out of college. But until then, we're going to cook stuff and today we are going to cook a caramel apple cookie thing. I'm not sure. I'll post a picture and today we're going to be trying something new like the music behind me should be slightly different. Maybe not like a rave in the kitchen but a subtle like trip in the kitchen, you know, mixing it up. Uh, been a while, so yeah, here we go. So the first step in anything that involves baking of some sort, the first step is always to preheat the oven. And today we're gonna preheat this. Today we're gonna preheat this oven to 350. Yeah. So while my oven is preheating, I'm gonna be doing something with this pie crust, and uh, yeah. But before I do anything with that pie crust, apparently I need to spray this down with a non-stick cooking oil. Done. Set this off to the side. And I'll come back to that later, I guess. Yeah, come back to that later. I'm gonna take this crust and I'm supposed to do something with it. Okay, so I don't have a rolling pin, so I'm not sure. Look at that perfect circle. It's almost as if I started over, which I totally didn't. I totally did not start over. Now I get the opportunity to spread a layer of caramel over top of it. It's like pizza sauce. It says to spread a thin layer of caramel over top, but I don't know. We'll find out how it turns out. Yeah. Wish me luck.
So they kind of look like cookies, but not really. We're gonna crack an egg and we're gonna beat it. Some brown sugar. Some cinnamon. Mmm, fantastic. And now I'm supposed to like drizzle this or do something with it over top of my failed things. So, yeah. So now I'm going to put these monstrosities in to the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. Tells me cookies shouldn't look like this. Hmm. Well, that didn't turn out quite what I was hoping for. It didn't look like a cookie at all. But it did taste like apple pie, so you're probably better off, if you're as bad as me, just going ahead and making some apple pie or something, because it will turn out much better. And it tastes like apple pie. My dogs really enjoyed eating it. But that's about it. Um, thanks for watching.